Let's discuss heat transfer and dissipation, particularly with the Harley-Davidson air-cooled motorcycle engine. As with all internal combustion fuel-powered engines, you are going to create heat in order to create power. The key is to control the heat to an optimum temperature without causing damage to the engine. This can be done through oil coolers or heat exchangers, can be done through oils, whether synthetic, mineral-based, typically by the weight or viscosity of the oil you use. Again, bear in mind, everyone's idea of temperature and climate is different, depending on where you ride, how you ride, what part of the country you may ride. If you're in heavy traffic all the time, of course your motorcycle is going to run hotter than if you're on the open road with a fresh airflow. I highly recommend putting some type of oil cooler or heat exchanger on any air-cooled engine. The key with that is to make sure that it's thermostatically or has a thermo switch to control the oil flow to the cooler and make sure the engine runs at an optimum temperature. As with any component installation, you're going to need some hand tools, some basic hand tools to install the component on your motorcycle. Please bear in mind, preparation avoids frustration during installation. You'll need some sockets, you'll need some extensions, some ratchets, an oil filter wrench to remove the oil filter, Allen keys, some wire cutters, some wire crimpers. You'll need a punch and a drill bit to install the LED light for this particular oil cooler. Again, bear in mind, if you need basic hand tools like wrenches and you don't have them, either try to rent them or borrow them from someone. Make sure you have what you need to install it, whatever you're installing, before you begin the installation. Harley-Davidson throughout the years has used a number of different metal configurations in order to dissipate the heat with the air-cooled engine. Please bear in mind, the larger the cubic inch, the more power you're creating, the more heat you're creating. Heat, when it's too hot, is just as damaging as cold when an engine runs too cold. Again, that's why you really need to thermostatically control any type of heat exchanger or oil cooler you may install on your motorcycle. Let's take a look at what would typically be a heat exchanger or an oil cooler unit that you would install on a Harley-Davidson motorcycle. As with all oil coolers or heat exchangers, there's a couple components that are going to be similar no matter what product line you're using. You're going to need a way to interface with the oil filter. You're naturally going to need plumbing to get the oil from the oil filter mount to the oil cooler assembly or heat diffuser, heat exchanger, whatever you prefer to call it. You're going to need a nice sturdy mount so that you know the oil cooler is going to stay in place. Again, anytime you're working on your motorcycle, bear in mind, even though it may be model specific, this kit I'm using is for Harley Davidson's FL line, make sure there's adequate clearance, not only from painted components, but also for any other electrical or cable operated devices on the motorcycle. This is what's typically known as the oil cooler or the heat exchanger. You can see from the back of it, oil will enter and exit through the plumbing. This is a nice assembly due to the fact that there are two 90 CFM fans, which again aid in airflow across the heat exchanger, allowing the oil to release the heat that it's built up from the engine in operation. Wiring harness, and you'll see the wiring harness will interface with the thermo switch. This works typically like a thermostat in an automobile. Along with the FL Harley-Davidson line, most manufacturers also offer coolers that will fit Softails, Dynas, Sportsters, and most of the Harley-Davidson models. This oil cooler or heat exchanger You'll see it's typical to the FL line. It only has a single cooling fan. This particular company, Ultracool, 
Makes a very nice, very well built unit. It's wired in directly to the motorcycle's harness, so you shut it off when you shut off the ignition. And it also has an LED light. When this LED is illuminated, it tells you that the oil cooler and the fan is operating. At 220 degrees is when the thermo switch allows the oil to flow through the cooler and dissipate the heat. You'll find most systems have a typical interface piece for your oil filter in the mounting area. Some will use a braided line, some will use a rubber line. I don't find there's much difference between either as long as it is a sealed system and doesn't allow leakage of the oil when it's operating, it should work fine. I like when products come packaged with explicit instructions and what's also real nice when you're looking into a product is that they give you a nice itemized tool list of what it's going to take to install it. Again, don't just rush out, buy a product, take for granted that you'll have the tools needed to install it. Use a little time, do a little research. That way there you don't have failure, you have installation and success.